Hello, I'm Jerry Spinelli with the UC Cooperative Extension of San Diego. This is a series of videos about water quality indicators. And in this video, I want to talk about nitrate concentration. Why measuring and quantifying nitrate concentration is important? Because many of you growers may be injecting nitrate for fertilizer in your irrigation water. Also, if you produce runoff and there is nitrate in that runoff, that runoff may go and pollute surface waters like a river or a creek. Also, if that water with nitrate in it infiltrates, le leaches into the groundwater, it can pollute groundwater water resources. So it's important that we are able to measure how much of that um, nitrate is in that water so we can manage it better. The units to measure nitrate concentrations are ppm, parts per million, and sometimes we see also milligrams per liter. It turns out that in one gram there are a thousand milligrams, and it turns out that in one kilogram there are a thousand grams. So in one kilogram there are a million milligrams. Also it turns out that the density of water is one liter per kilogram. So you could write this as milligram per kilogram. And now you see that it's the same as calling them parts per million because there is a million milligrams in every kilogram. And so these units are equivalent. So far, so good. So somewhere you'll see them call them PPM. So, so far, you'll see, them, you'll see them called milligram per liter, but it's exactly the same thing. It gets more complicated when you will see written parts per million of NO3, that means of nitrate, or parts per million of NO3N. And sometimes they call this nitrate as nitrogen or nitrate nitrogen or nitrogen expressed as nitrogen. And these are two different units. And uh, there is a conversion factor between the two that is 443. And this, is, this has been very confusing to me. And the way I keep it straight in my head is by thinking about a chicken. The other day, I wanted to cook uh, chicken cacciatora, cacciatora uh, just like my aunt used to cook it for me. And my aunt used to be a partisan during the war, and she was uh, part of the resistance. So her job was to bike through the, the Nazi checkpoint with guns hidden in her bag of groceries. And she was a super good-looking young lady, and so she always made it through. And so to honor, to honor her service and her memory, I decided to cook uh, um, her, her recipe of the chicken. So I called my mother and she said, Ah, oh, Gerardo, when are you going to get married and have kids? And I said, Mom, uh, can I get the, the recipe of auntie's uh, chicken? And, and so she says, OK, you need four, 443 pounds, pounds of chicken. And so I went to the grocery store and I bought one entire uh, chicken and uh, and and uh, the the chicken weight 443 uh, pounds. So and it turns out that every every 443 pounds of chicken you get one pound one pound of chicken meat, or you can call it chicken chicken M, I guess, chicken expressed as meat, or you can say chicken expressed expressed as meat. So this is the conversion factor. Every 443 pounds of the whole chicken, you have the feathers, you have the bones, you have the head that you don't use, you make one pound of meat. So nitrate kind of works a little bit like a chicken. So if you get 4.43 milligrams of nitrate, this is what this is what the molecule of of nitrate looks like. It has one nitrogen in the middle and three oxygen. And the oxygen weighs more or less like the nitrogen. So you have all these parts that you don't use, like, like, in, the, like in, the, in the chicken. And every 443 milligrams of NO3, there is one milligram of N, of nitrogen. And so, and so you can say, you can call these NO3 nitrogen. Or you can say NO3 N, just like here we say M for meat. Or you can also say NO3 expressed, expressed, expressed as nitrogen. And and you will see you will see written 
in in these various um, in these various ways, and this is what they mean. So, for example, the uh, EPA limit for drinking water is 10 ppm, right? EPA limit is 10 ppm of nitrate nitrogen. So it corresponds to 44.3 ppm of NO3. And once I heard the conversation between two people that were fighting about this, and one, one of them said, no, the EPA limit is 10 ppm, and the other said, no, the EPA, the EPA limit is 40 ppm. And they were fighting about that, and it turns out they were both right. They were just using different units. So we hope that this made sense, and in the next video, we're gonna talk about some simple tools that you can use to measure nitrate concentration in the field. You can take a water sample, and with a simple tool, you can measure the nitrate concentration, and uh, we will see you in the next video.